The vestige awakens once again. Come here, we must speak. As I feared, we arrived in different locations. I am in a city of industry where men speak of intrigues and plots beneath layers of innuendo and pleasantry. It matters not. You have awakened once again, and we must set you on your path. Days, weeks, I cannot tell. The voyage between worlds disrupted all sense of time and space. I know only that you were deposited into the sea, and some charitable soul fished you out and brought you to dry land. I'm afraid you will have to decide that for yourself. I must focus on searching for a way to repay Lyris's bold sacrifice. I cannot simply abandon her to the wrath of Murlog Ball. I cannot foresee that, not yet. But we will meet again. There is still much we need to accomplish. Be wary, Vestige. Our very plane of existence is in peril. The threat of Moloch Ball looms across all Camryo, and chaos spreads in its shadow. Danger roams the land and will assume many forms. Do not let it catch you off guard. You must find your own path, but perhaps there is a reason for the place in which you find yourself. Explore, search for a cause to lend your hand. Join with others. You might even seek out those who rescued you from the sea. The choice is yours. Indeed, I sense that even now, there are good people near you who face grave danger. They need your assistance, should you be willing to give it. To thwart the will of Molag Bal, we must skirmish with evil wherever it rears its head. We do not face these troubled times alone. Many shall rise up to fight this tide of darkness. Wherever you go, you will encounter others who share your courage and valor. Help them if you can, and enlist their aid if you have need of it. Be wary, Vestige. Our very plane of existence is in peril. The threat of Molog Ball looms across all Tamriel, and chaos spreads in its shadow. Danger roams the land and will assume many forms. Do not let it catch you off guard. You must find your own path, but perhaps there is a reason for the place in which you find yourself. Explore, search for a cause to lend your hand. Join with others. You might even seek out those who rescued you from the sea. The choice is yours.
least I'm getting something done. The withered stalk flowers again. It is good to see you, alive and well. We found you floating in the water. I'd seen corpses with more life in them, but Captain Kaleen dove in and fished you out anyway. The captain of this vessel. She's currently ashore, recruiting for our latest contract. You might want to pay your respects. Seeing as she saved your life. The withered stalk flowers again. It is good to see you, alive and well. You're on the spearhead, Captain Kaleen's ship. I am one of Captain Kaleen's few remaining loyal crew members. The rest? Well, the less said of those bloody-minded mutineers, the better. If you seek passage, know that this ship has no crew. Our captain is ashore recruiting. Mutiny. We saved the ship and those that live fled ashore. This one hopes they have the sense to stay away. If they return, Kassan's claws will taste blood once more.
They were not Kassan's crew. They belonged to Captain Kalim before they mutinied and tried to kill us all. Now they belong to no one. Master Kazan is but a humble sailor, though others will tell you stories. Some whisper the name Kazan Five Claw, Terror of the Seas. Yet these are stories for children. We have better things to do with our time, yes? Some call her the Doom Reaper's daughter, others the Four Bear Witch. We, her loyal crew, call her Captain Kalim. She is a master sailor. Though Kassan now wonders where her allegiance lies. There is a forebear king and sentinel now. Faharajat. He has allied himself with the Bretons and orcs in this Daggerfog covenant. Kassan fears his apprentice stings much of Faharajat. Too much. A true sea rover has no such loyalties. Kassan taught Kalin much, though she is her own woman, strong and proud. Kassan is grateful to help her find her way. She is a worthy successor. All that was once Kassan's is now hers.